outcomes, and obviously, I don't, to, I don't have to tell you guys we didn't play good basketball tonight, but we haven't been playing good basketball the last three games. We started out playing real good. We give an unbelievable effort to win. I mean, there's four games that we should have gone down, but the effort is so great we're winning. But we're not executing at the defensive end. I, I believe that the reason teams are shooting a low percentage against us is fatigue. I don't think it's good execution defensively. I think it's fatigue. So now we got to get to really good execution defensively to get ready for Georgetown to win and um, take some time off. A rock tweet, um, tweet this groin, and that's what happens when you have injuries and guys come back. They don't re-injure the knee. What happens is they haven't played in so long, they hurt the hamstring, they pull the groin, and something else happens to them. So he, um, I think, pulled his groin, and um, we got to get swap playing a little better basketball. we got to get Shane playing better the whole team. So we'll take off. Uh, and come back and go to work and get ready for Georgetown. How many days are you going to take off? That's none of your business. Talk about Russ's effort, especially late in the game. You know, Russ, Russ is Russ, like we've been talking about. He's, he's winning us games just on, on pure intensity, pure heart, um, and um, he's the reason we're winning. But we've got, we've got to get the rest of the guys playing like that. You said it was more execution. Were, were you satisfied with the effort tonight? The effort's always good. It's the execution that's poor. And, you know, I, I think there's reasons for that. You know, like, like I think I made a big mistake. I'm trying to get a guy in here who hasn't played a second. I'm trying to get him ready in two days, three days, four days. And it's silly. I mean, I'm just putting the young man in a bad light, in a bad situation. These guys have been playing since the summer. There's so many keys. And, I'm trying to get him in a situation, and it's easy to do if you get if you get a lead and you get up some points. But when you're down, it's not easy to get him playing time. Rick, Rick, did Peyton just have a bad night, or did they do anything to him? Or he did have a bad night, and he's falling down a lot. You know, that's something we've seen in the past. He's he's on, he's on the ground too much, losing his balance, and um, so we we got to get him to get back to his game right now. But he's had a bad couple of nights. I think the whole team has. We've, we've played poorly the last few times, but uh, I admire them greatly. The way their grit and the way they fight to come back and fight to win. Um, when you have that as your common denominator, good things can happen when you branch out from that. Was, could some of Shane's uh, struggles be attributed to playing Western Kentucky and some guys he was familiar with in his high school days? Anybody have any other questions? I'm going to answer intelligent questions. I'm, I'm not saying it's not intelligent, but come on. Coach, Search it down. In the middle of the second half, you guys went on like a twenty-two to three run. What was going right there? Was it just their fatigue? Yeah, I think I think there's a certain point, you know, where that happens. But what, what was happening with us is they were doing some really good things against our zone, and we weren't communicating verbally, and they, they had some wide open shots, and we're just watching Gawky do too much, and we got to give we got to give him some help. Kyle Curick's got to give him some help on the glass. I mean, Gawky is is he's a one man wrecking crew inside and you know he's, he's the only one battling on the glass. Kyle's got to get in and give us some help. So and, and he, he will. It's just uh, one of those nights where you're lucky to win. You got to give all the credit to Western Kentucky. They're four and eight and they were playing like they were eight and four. So you got to give them all the credit in the world. That's a, That speaks volumes and Ken told me before the game he has really a terrific group of guys. Uh, he said wouldn't say that about last year's team but he's got a great group of guys and, and it showed tonight because they're they're four and eight, and they executed well. Besides playing hard, they executed really well. All the way to the last play of the game. Rick, Rick, does, does Russ Smith, does he just have that mindset, that attack, that no fear mindset, or is there anything in particular when he gets it going that he does really well? I just think he has some qualities that I haven't seen before. You know, I, I really haven't seen too many guys that have a game like him, like all of a sudden. It's, he just takes off and goes his hand, and, and he just gets there without, most of the time, creating an offensive foul for himself. And when the guy steps up, he goes around him, and he has a, an incredible knack of, of getting a shot off. And then he, down the stretch, he, he is a six-foot guy who gets the rebound in a crucial time. So he's just playing with incredible energy, and he, has, he, has, he does things that I haven't seen before from a guy. Unique, unique hands and unique talent getting to the rim. And I, you know, it's it's. I think where Russ grew up, um, you can understand why he he didn't have much fear. You know, he, he was very very happy and relieved when he got home at night. You know, so he's uh, he's seen the gamut. Of a basketball game is not going to make him nervous at all.
Anything else for Coach? You all have a um, Merry Christmas. Obviously, we're not pleased with our performance, but we will go out and celebrate uh, Billy Minotti, and um, it was great for our sponsors to give us that help. We appreciate all your coverage, and we wish you all a Merry Christmas. And uh, We've got a great schedule coming up. Uh, Georgetown is a top well, they'll probably move up in the rankings because they beat Memphis again. And they're 15, 14. So it'll be a great ball game. We're going to have to play awfully well to beat them. So everybody have a Merry Christmas to all our fans. Happy holidays. And uh, thank you for your coverage.